much. Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. We've got a different looking tree for us, and it's always fun and fascinating when Luke Crawford's on the show. Luke Crawford, welcome back to the show. Thank it's you. so nice to have you here. And then after this, you get to start decorating our set. Correct. Like every year, I come here and I just, you know, make a big mess and I make everything look pretty for yeah, Christmas I, yeah, and I the holidays. You come in, it's like a whirlwind and then it's beautiful and then, then you just quietly <laughs> sneak and away. And I'm back the year after. Uh, all right, so what are we looking at in terms of what you're enjoying seeing in people's homes and what you've created? What's well, you, you know, like? uh, again, like I always say, you know, there's there's so much out there that it's kind of hard to uh, actually uh, put everything in perspective because what people do now is that it's two things. Like I say, if you're a traditionalist, you're going to do the traditional things. You're going to have the traditional family dinner. You're going to have the traditional tree, and you're also going to have the traditional decorating, right? But if you're uh, more of the uh, upgoing type of person, meaning like between Christmas and New Year's, you're not going to be in town like me. I'm going to be like in Mexico for two weeks. Then it's more the cocktail party venue. It's more the quick, easy setup. It's more the silvery thing. It's more the glamorous ornaments. Also, the latest tendency is that people try to keep it as simple as possible and they try to keep it easy to manage, easy to put together and easy to tear down. Two, they don't want any maintenance. Right. They don't Okay, and you're saying easy to do, but then I'm looking at this creation that you've done, and there's like seven or eight different things in here. Correct, but the creation that I've done here for you actually was purchased, already made for me. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, it. so yeah. there you go. So that's the trick. So technically, most supermarket now kind of has these creations, but the tendency is this. It is green, it is natural, it is simple. Like if you look at the cover of the uh, house and home of this season, it's very, very sparse. Like there is no reds, there is no Christmas ornament for sale. You know, there's not the Christmas tree and there's not the Christmas ball, but there's a whole lot of green. There's a whole lot of, of uh, natural ingredient. And that's what people are tend to do now is that they're gonna do the shape and forms of things that were traditional and they're gonna modernize it. So this right here, with that, this is a can. You've got candles here. Correct. This is another way of looking at a tree. Correct. Like I know people that did a party, and instead of doing the Christmas tree, they done a bunch of those in a grouping in a corner on a console. They lit them at night. Oh, it kind of gives. It kind of gives you the atmosphere, right? People are are going to do things that are simple, easy to also um, get rid of after. Like they want to also reuse right it's eco-friendly that way they want to keep it simple but you know if you're looking at some of really funky type of ornaments you're gonna have the fun stuff you know you're gonna have the disco ball which you know you don't have to use in a tree but for example you know if if you want to look at the tray that I did here I've done that for a party that I did last week because we do it's a lot of that as well come around. We did, technically, um, the tray is from Chapters. It was impossible for me to find a tray in the city. I'm not kidding. So they have beautiful one at Chapters. They're white lacquered. And this one has an, a mirror inside yeah, of it. Yeah, and there's an antique mirror inside, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So what I've done is that um, I've put the extra large vase on top. I fill it up with water. I fill up the Christmas ornaments with water and then they just sink to the bottom and then what you do at the top is that you do floating candles so it kind of gives you that wow. very classy atmosphere also these colors this year are really big and they're very new they're like the seafoam green and the tilly type of um, electric blue they're very very popular they're very nice they're very sophisticated it goes well with everything as you can see i've also brought in a lot of white mm -hmm. White trees are going to say, well, it's very Miami. This is not, you know, where we live. But again, if you're not a traditionalist, you're not going to think about a, a green Christmas tree, which is not the end of it. So you're going to do the whites. You're also going to access... Okay, wait, because we're on the tree. What have you put in there? Well, this what is actually, it's, it's 200 years old uh, style of ornament. It's very Victorian. It's technically a small little bird with a clip. And then what you do is that you can uh, just clip it on the branch. Okay. So if I go right that? here, yeah, I'm going to try it. So you keep it right on the here. branch. It's very fun. Uh, I don't necessarily use all of these ornaments on trees for say, like you can put that on the napkin ring, for mm -hmm. example. It's a great gift to give to the hostess. It's something that you can attach to the uh, wine bottle or the champagne bottle that you're going to give a as a gift. You know, there's a million things that you can do with small little ornaments like this that are great. They're great to give as gifts. They're great to give for kids. People are going to play with them. They're catchy. They're fun. They're funny. They're colorful. Uh, there's also some of those that are actually uh, colorless, and you can be creative and create your own. Can I ask you where you can find these since you've been talking these up? Are these? Uh, can you find them somewhere? Yeah, Michael's. 
Really? Michaels, and I have those at my. Um, I was not expecting you to say that. My, well, Michaels, they have. I'm gonna say, you know, um, out of. Uh, I've been shopping a lot for Christmas ornaments. They do have beautiful ones. They're very ornate. They're very traditional, and they're kind of almost old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. uh, the colors are beautiful. So I would suggest yeah. to go to Michaels. Great. The problem with the big box stores, and I don't have a problem with them per se, but is that they tend to push the resale sale. So they're going to do just a simple venue, the one solid Christmas balls, and that's going to be it. Uh, it's not going to be very different. If you're looking for crafty things, you need to go to craft shops. Okay. You've gone with white. We saw that with the tree, but I love Correct. The, Again, love those the are from Boucler, you know, like um, beautiful uh, white pillows that you can put on your sofas, your chairs, uh, in the hallway on the ottoman. It's a, it's a touch of white, which is always great in a dark room, especially for a party or a cocktail. We use those a lot. You know, the bling is always the bling. The bling is going to stay uh, very uh, popular. The, the diamonds and the studs are, are, are great and it's a great ornament. You can also mix the the colors, meaning uh, you can mix the golds and the silver now as well, which, you know, it's... I was going to say, is that that's the new rule? There's no rules that you can mix. Well, actually, you're wearing the perfect example, right? You're, you're mixing the gold and you're, yes. you have the, the diamond stud in that silver, so you mix both. Then if you really want to mix both because you're a Debbie decorator and you want to match it up, Okay, Debbie Decorator. Debbie gotcha. Decorator. Then you have the antique silver, and the antique silver kind of has both colors. It has the gold and the silver mixed together, and those are great as well. Uh, Can I even ask about these? Yeah, actually. Um, I'm, scared to, I'm scared to touch it. Isn't that great? It's beautiful. We actually have seen a lot of these that people are hanging just the antlers as... Uh, tree ornaments as well. Correct. You seem to have, well, you have the whole package there. Well, you do the tree ornaments, you decorate. Uh, most people, if they're going to buy those, they're going to keep them all year round on the wall. They're nice, they're decorative. They're going to buy them for seasonal, but they're also going to buy them because they like the idea. It's also better looking than the real thing. <laughs> okay, this is, I didn't see this until you lifted that up. This is so cool. Yeah, this is very dramatic, you know. It's, I call it the, the, the gay ornament just because it's a little bit over the top. But, you know, it's, 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 <laughs> Where do you, you know, put that? Like, do you actually, would you put that? Well, you need a tall tree, first of all, because mm -hmm. you put one of those in a small tree like this, and it's just going to hit the ground. It's overwhelming. So, you know, again, this is something you can give as a gift. You can put a bow around it. You can put it on a, on a ball of wine. You know, you can decorate um, the tree with it. You can decorate your window treatment. If you want to put this just on, on and hook it on the uh, vase, it's kind of going to give you the venue of something very nice and simple. Look Again, at that. you put a candle inside, you lit it, it's very dramatic, it's quirky, it's fun, it's one of a kind, and that's the, the type of decorating that people are looking for now. You are um, quirky and fun and one of a kind, and uh, thank you <laughs> so much for uh, some wonderful ideas. Best of luck as you start to prepare our set. Exactly. I'm really looking forward to seeing Tonight what you're able tomorrow. to create for us. Uh, Luke Crawford, you can find all the information listed on the screen, uh, and wonderful. He's done some amazing work at so many homes and businesses around the city. We're going to take a short commercial break. We'll be back to wrap up this thank edition you. of CTV Morning Live.